I know what you're thinking. Superman, are you ready, Alex Becker? Or Alex Becker, are you ready, Superman? Oh, Lord of Crypto Gaming. Lord of Crypto YouTube. Lord, period. Can you give me some of those sweet, sweet gains? The 10, 100, 1000x gains I can only get from you. So I can only take my wife out on Valentine's Day and pretend I'm the genius. No, you cannot. Why? Why should I give you my tips for free? I'm the best looking man on crypto YouTube. I'm the best looking man, period. I have got Hollywood charisma. No, I don't. Because in Hollywood, they have no charisma. I'm a special one. So if you really want those 10, 100, 1000 X gains, you better subscribe and you better tell everybody I told you about it. <laughs> Would you like to? Learn what are the next 100 to 1000 X cryptocurrency gems with the potential to turn $1,000 into 100,000 if not a million dollars. I am going to be ranking cryptocurrencies for their multiplier potential in this video and I'm going to be talking about them. I am the person, the Supo man, not Alex Becker, the Supo man, the person who really has adopted this whole format. Why? Because it's super simple to get through to you what potential I see for a cryptocurrency. Because there are loads of people on crypto YouTube who will tell you about a cryptocurrency, but they won't say where they see it going, how much potential they have. They tend to, if you look at the most popular YouTubers, they are people that invest in large cap cryptocurrencies that have hardly any risk and hardly any upside. But me, the Supo man, I am the man that finds you the 100 to 1000 X crypto gems. And you can see here my esteemed list of multipliers that I've called out. And the latest entry is this one, Gamer Arena. Gamer Arena did a God candle. It didn't do a God candle. It did the solar system candle. It did an everything candle. When I first spoke about it, well under 0.001 cents, it went on to do a 166x. Guess what else I found? Sushi VM. I did a 300x. Both of these are pre-halving calls. And there was another one. Bonk. Pre-halving call again. So I am the man. So if you love content like this, make sure that you smash a like on this video. It's so super simple, but it does the world of difference for me. If you just tap that like, there we are, done. And you help me so much. And if you haven't already, subscribe as well and turn your post notifications on because I unveiled Game Arena in a live stream at 0.0009. And today it's 15 and a half cents. Also, make sure that if you haven't already, join my DCA Telegram group where I let you know what I'm DCAing into uh, in this preparation for the next bull market. All you have to do is get the course via a link in the description for $10, not $60 like you see here. So, if you've been following me on Twitter, which I hope that you are, then you will see what my game plan is for the coming bull run. Regardless of whether we're going to be seeing some downside, which I do still believe, I know, I know, everybody on Twitter, everybody, or X, everybody on YouTube is saying, that's it, it's gone. It's gone, the lows are gone. We're never going to see under 45k again. We're never going to see under $2,000 Ethereum again. Let me tell you something. When the stock market crashed in 2008, everything was up. So don't believe for a second that we're in the clear. But having said that, this is my game plan anyway. I'm already investing, right? So this is my game plan. Invest in new cryptocurrencies in explosive narratives. I've already been doing that. Probably should have made sure I had this up already. I've already been doing that. I have been getting involved in a lot of pre-sales in explosive categories. Why? Because these are the ones I have most conviction in. Gaming, AI, real world assets and launch pads. But I don't just invest in any. If somebody says, Superman, check out this coin. What do you think? Are you, do you want to invest? No, nine times out nine times out of ten, even with a pre-sale, I stay, I say no. I am really very fussy with what I'm investing in. And then the next one, buy unpumped hidden gems and explosive narratives on ETH killer chains. That is what game gamer arena is. 
That is exactly, it's a degen. But it's in a new narrative. These new chains, well, these new Ethereum killers, Solana, Avalanche, Sui, Aptos, all of these, all of these blockchains that are looking to beat Ethereum, their ecosystems are going to boom. And getting involved in promising coins within those ecosystems, as Gamer Arena has proven, is very, very, can be very, very lucrative. It's not 100% going to make it, but all you need is one big winner. Accumulate big dips. This is probably the one that is going to resonate with you the most. Accumulate big dips in existing coins, in gaming AI memes, etc. And wait for the mother market to give these opportunities. Let me just make sure you can hear me alright. Yes, you can. Let me just share this over to the good people of Twitter in case they can't see, which more than likely they can't. Is what you get with me in a live stream. Off the cuff! Off the cuff! Done and done. There we are. Sent. So, I've already been doing this, okay? And this is the most important thing. Let me just show you, okay? This is what I've been doing. I have been accumulating on dips alone. Most people, when they buy cryptocurrencies, they buy it at the top. Where you see the pluses, right there. Oh, no, you can't really see it there. Where you see the plus, that means that's where I bought it. So, look. I bought it on the dip. Avalanche. This was another one. I bought this in between $10 and $8. No, $9.70. Which you would have seen in my DCA Mastermind group. And again, look. Look what happened afterwards. You accumulate in dips. Don't think, oh, our DCA. Our DCA, what is up? What is up? 40%. No, that's stupid. You DCA when it's down majorly. Another one. This is a recent example. So look, we've got Shrap. I bought it. Initially when it was seven dollars and then I bought it again at nine uh, seven cents and I bought it again at 19 cents When it dipped after it went up to like 50 40 cents I waited and waited and waited for the dip opportunity and I got it and then last of all Gamey another one look at this. I was watching this going up and loving it when altcoin season was happening so this was you know, back in October, just before the ETF pump pumped everything, created an altcoin season. I watched it go up and up and up, and I was I just thought, ah, oh, I wish I'd got into this. And then I waited until it got hacked. And then I invested in it. And people are like, oh, it's got hacked, it's got hacked, I'm not gonna No. That is exactly when you invest in it. You invest in it when nobody likes it, when everybody's panicking about it. So that's what I'm doing. And that is something that I would recommend only you do. And I've just shown you, in, I've just shown you proof. That's from my wallet. It tracks when I bought assets and buy on dips only or let it go. I've let a lot of crypto, I've let Tau go, Casper, Ordinals. I called those. I spoke about them before anybody. And I didn't, I have, I, I said, the train's gone, I don't care. Unless it can unlock for me 100x, which none of those coins will do from now. Then I don't get in. And I buy and I hold what I buy until it 100x's. Then begin the sell-off. No exceptions. So I'm really very much looking for cryptocurrencies that are risky, high-risk plays. All right? Because it can the gamble can pay off. But it's better than, you know, than kind of doing... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've got it somewhere. Maybe I don't. No, I don't. Right, so what I was going to show you, bear with me. Let me just see if I can get it up for you anyway. Because this is a very important thing to show you. Here we go. Right. Put that over here. Right, okay, so this is the wallet of what I would say is a pretty well-known crypto YouTube channel. We will call it VB or KC. It could be either, it could be neither. But um, 
These are the kind of gaming coins that they would invest in, okay? This is what they would put large sums of money in. Beam, Immutable X, Vulcan Forge, Superverse, Prime, Rollblit. Like, putting it in cryptocurrencies that have already made the money. Render. Don't understand this kind of mentality. So this is what I want to avoid. I am not going to be looking to buy any of these coins. I don't care how much anybody talks about them. And the thing is, is that on YouTube, there's going to be a lot of people talking about them. And the thing is, is that these cryptocurrencies are all on centralized exchanges. When they've got high liquidity, they don't move. That's why I like low cap degen cryptocurrencies that are only available on DEXs because these are where the 100 Xs are made because... Because when anybody talks about something that's got low liquidity, it pumps like there's no tomorrow. So that is why I'm going to be looking for. So in a nutshell, my, um, my goal is to look for... Let me just make it look very, very simple for you. This is high quality. Low quality. Low price high price okay so where youtubers are buying uh, uh, is in this area here so it's in this area you'll see the likes of immutable x bear with me a second joe bars thank you very much for a hundred dollars i appreciate that a lot i would do one of my thank you screens but i got copyrighted last time i do, did that so i'm not gonna do that now but honestly a thousand thanks and, uh, and I saw also you got in Gamer Arena, so I'm very, very chuffed for you. And I hope that, you know, that I think that'll go to a, a dollar probably quite quickly. Thomas S, what do you think about Solidus AI? I would ask me these questions afterwards. So in here, you've got Immutable X, Illuvium, Beam, Super. The ones that have already kind of gone up sizably, Okay. This is what YouTubers are buying, right? YouTubers, whales, they're buying this, right? Why? Because they're low risk and moderate upside, decent upside. We're in the pre-halving year, so I would expect some decent upside, 10 to 20x. But to me, these are shit. To me, these have already made the money. If I want to preserve my money, I'll put it into these. But if I really want to make money, then this is the area where it's high quality but low price okay so in the low quality low price you've got you know the likes of uh creo engine um <laughs> lit labs shit like that and in here you've got the likes of shrapnel um gamey um uh what's it called farcana and one of my favourites right now, which I think is truly undervalued, Mix Mob. <laughs> this is the air. Oh, of course, Gamer Arena, which net, which was at one point here. So kind of low quality. No, sorry, low price, and we couldn't really gauge the quality. Ended up being high quality, and now it's kind of here in the whole table. But this is the area that I'm looking at, and this is the area I'm going to be analysing, really, as far as gaming is concerned. So, there we are. That is my strategy. If you love it, this is the place to come to. So, having said that, what we're going to do now is we are going to, uh, we're going to rank these cryptocurrencies. So, I have got... 10 or so cryptocurrencies to go through. Some of them you've seen before and some you will never have seen before. So the first one is Gamey, right? Now this is already kind of pumped. You saw that I bought it kind of when it was at 1.36 cents. And uh, this one I think is just a potential behemoth because... Unlike all the other, you know, what all the, the big YouTubers, the whale investors are investing in, this one is a potential powerhouse Gala Beam-esque kind of cryptocurrency in the future. This is going to be a super studio of mobile games. Now, if you have a look, 
The quality of mobile games on this platform is just supreme. The animation looks excellent, looks second to none. The kind of thing that you would see on Ketchup. Now, Ketchup were an iPhone developer and publish, app publisher back in the early 10s. And they made so much money that they got bought out by, I think it was Microsoft or something like that. This looks the exact same type of quality. Gamer Arena and Gamey, very, very similar. Mobile games focus, very, very simple to play. You can play it right now. In fact, earlier, I was playing Gamer Arena and they've got a whole host of new games. So, and they were just so super easy to play and earn money from. So, Gamey, I think even from here, because if we have a look, Gamey is presently 80 million fully diluted. Fully diluted. That means, I mean, if we have a look at something like Beam, for instance, Beam fully diluted 1.7 billion. That's, that's crazy. And Gamey at this point, and it's been out for quite a few years, and still to this day has only released around about 20% of their supply. That shows you they've got a very, very slow inflation. So I don't expect for this fully diluted market cap to be in play at all. I expect it, if anything, to be not far from what this is currently. So I would say that Gamey, from here, it's reached 75 cents before. In my opinion, with no fanfare, with no one really talking about it, I'm imagining Gamey is going to get spoken about by many, many YouTubers. And I would, I would predict this one is going to hit a 30 to 50x. So I so from here, so from where I got in, more likely a 50x plus, but from here, 30 to 50x, I would say. The next one is Mixmob. Now this one has really, really surprised me. Let me show you. Right now it's 5.8 cents. If I show you what this what this was at IDO, so I invested in this at pre-sale, and the price I got at was 0.045. So where it is right now is hardly any increase on what big investors got this for. So presently, the opportunity is open for all. Now Mixmob is a really easy to play, free to play, play to earn racing game. I call it the kind of Mario Kart of Mario Kart 8 of cryptocurrency. It's so easy and it's actually really good. It's an excellent quality title and as i've said we we've the the mix the mix mob team did streams on twitch with arthur hayes and the founder of solana playing this game so quite clearly this one has got the big man in a roundabout way endorsing this cryptocurrency i'm gonna play against a phantom but i'm just gonna show you very very simply uh, how it looks to play. It's so easy. And also just to show you, this is what's available now in its first version. Over time, this is going to be expanded upon. Hopefully this doesn't lag too much. This, I imagine, is going to have some, put some pressures on this stream. Let me put the voice, the, the sound on a little bit. It's so super simple to play. Actually, I'm going to if you've ever played kind of F-Zero, Mario Kart, it's this kind of graphics, kind of fantasy background. And uh, and you basically play against other players. If you win, you earn money. If you win, you're able to get rewards. And then what you've got at the bottom, so this 3-3-1, three, three, this is what you can press on the keyboard. So they're weapons, basically. So this rocket can, for instance, this now will fire it at my opponent and slow him down. That's how it works. So at the end of the day, what it is, is it's a racing game. And it's about beating the other player, which I clearly won't do here. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. So Mixmob, super simple to play on Solana. And at this present time, is just a ridiculous market cap. Even fully diluted, it is, a, is pretty much a micro cap. So to me, I believe that Mixmob has incredible... Uh, incredible upside potential, particularly because this hasn't even got going yet. And to show you an example of the same people pretty much got into AIT protocol, right? 
Now, AIT protocol also was pretty low not long ago. Okay, it didn't go anywhere near the IDO price. But it was like, what, 14 cents. And, you know, it was easy to be despondent and think, oh, this is going nowhere, it's going nowhere. And then it woke up. And did a 3x, basically. Went from, like, 13 cents all the way up to 41 cents in literally the space of days. And my personal feeling is, is that Mixmob is, at some point, going to receive the same pump. And at this point, it is only really available on decentralized exchanges. It is also on Bybit and Mexi, which won't give it anywhere near the kind of liquidity, like Binance, Coinbase, that kind of thing. So... This does have the potential to pump, and I think this will pump. And my personal prediction is, is that Mixmob has also got 50x potential from here. I mean, where you consider it right now, under 10 million. And I'm part of Neo Tokyo, which is basically <laughs> Alex Becker's Alex Becker and Elio Trades project. They have built a community of basically gamers, games developers, crypto founders, crypto YouTubers. Anybody who's degenerative in the gaming landscape goes there and gets alpha. And something that I found is, is that in Neo Tokyo, they're very, very keen on Mixmob. And they're also very, very keen on my next one, which is Farcana. So I've done some DCAing into Farcana because this came out and it actually didn't go very far. I think this is only kind of like 4x from the IDO price. I think the IDO price was like about 2 cents. So it's only like 4x from the IDO price. So it's not really gotten very far at this point. Now, Farcana, if you have a look, is a third-person shooter. So it's a lot like, I suppose, Bloodloop, a bit like Sidus Heroes, and a bit also like Shrapnel and Off the Grid. So it's within that class of really commercial games. So commercial games are shoot 'em ups. Or, you know, 5v5, 5v5, 3v3, those kind of battle arena, um, third or first person shooters. Those, in my opinion, are my favourite. And then you've got role playing games. So something a bit like GTA where you do missions, drive cars, buy NFTs, clothe your character. It's a bit like Sinverse. Those kind of crypto because it's kind of second. And then I look for like the EVE Online, which is like Star Atlas, Illuvium. And then I look for like your Minecraft-esque cryptocurrency. So you know, your sandboxes, your virtual versions, that kind of thing. <clears throat> so Farcana is a presently out cryptocurrency that's a third person shooter and is very commercial. In my opinion, you know, this one's got a good name. And again, the guys in Neo Tokyo really like Farcana and are very, very bullish on Farcana. So I would say that Farcana... I would say that what really holds Farcana back, if anything, is probably its fully diluted market cap. And the fact it's on Polygon and not something like Arbitrum, Base, Avax, Solana. But I think that the quality of the game is very high. Like I said, it's quite, quite, a, quite a bit like Bloodloop. So I think that Farcana can at least 20, if not, go up to 50x. But I would say that based on its... It's kind of fully diluted value. I would say 30x is where I see this one. Now, the next one is a real beauty. Just before I get into that, just want to make sure I don't lose the super chats. 50 pounds from Andy Crawford. Audi to the moon. Go team Supo. Well, I hope that you got into Audi nice and early because... You know, I, the opportunity was there for so long, it was screaming at me. And I just couldn't be bothered to go on Qcoin. And that's what it boils down to in the end. Right, the next one is, is, is so no one knows about. I can pretty much guarantee you no one knows about this at all. And it is called Virtual Protocol. Virtual Protocol is an AI and gaming play that, like I said, I've looked on YouTube, I've looked on Twitter... Not a word is said about this. This is basically quietly trading in the background with some knowledgeable people. So there was a cryptocurrency in 2021 called PathDAO. PathDAO was a guild. So what they did was they supported, you know, players from impoverished countries to play, to be able to kind of lease NFT so they could play Axie Infinity, earn a load of money, that kind of thing, right? 
but they have migrated into what I believe is a really good project. So that project is Virtual Protocol. So Virtual Protocol is AI mixed with gaming and the metaverse. All right. So what you have with it is you are able to craft true versions of yourself in a virtual world and you are able to get that AI to do whatever you want it to do. You can make it do any actions. You can make it talk exactly like you. So they've got the voice. The voice is added to this AI character. Uh, the mannerisms of the character is added to the AI character. And then that character can be in any game. All right. So this will allow for games developers to be able to build, you know, true to form people in their game. So they could have celebrities in their games. And Virtual Protocol have got intellectual property on some of these celebrities as well. So they can have these celebrities doing whatever, you know, so it's it's basically completely customizable. It's mannerisms, it's character is true almost exactly to the, the celebrity that it's mimicking. Okay, so you've got the um, character mirror. Okay, so these virtuals are crafted to emulate iconic characters from various intellectual properties. They not only mimic the appearance and voice, but also the essence and personality traits of figures like Gojo, Saturo, John Wick, or Yoda. All right, so you've got intellectual property kind of AI character bots within a game. And you've also got the ability to have a digital twin. So imagine a digital twin that not only looks like you, but also behaves and interacts in a way that's quintessentially you. These personal virtuals are designed to be customizable extensions of oneself uh, within digital spaces, etc, etc. So to me, this one is just no one knows about it, but it basically covers three mega trends. It covers AI, gaming and metaverse. And it also is on um, it's also kind of on the base blockchain as well. So it's a kind of base base AI narrative. So there are no base AI plays. And this at this point is the only one. Now you can't find this on CoinMarketCap. It's only on CoinGecko at this point. Because like I said, no one knows about it. The liquidity, is, the volume is just like nothing. The fully diluted value, um, from what I understand it, uh, it, all of them are out in circulation. All coins are out in circulation. So this is the circulating market cap and the fully diluted market cap. So that means it's a micro cap, a micro cap AI gaming metaverse play, uh, also a base blockchain play that hardly anybody knows about and is a micro cap fully diluted. And that to me makes it got a lot of potential. And like I said, it's really just simmering in the background. Hardly anybody knows about it. And they've already got these apps they're already building. So the companion chat. So this is having uh, basically a AI companion that can replicate you using the technology that they've got. Uh, they've got a gamer co-pilot, which is a coach, basically. So it sits kind of within the game, telling you what to do, giving you strategic uh, and real-time feedback in order to win the game. And then the next one, which is AI NPCs. I don't really know what that is. So anyway, yeah. So there we are. So AI protocol. Uh, sorry. So virtual protocol. And they've also got the. They've also got the um, domain virtuals.io. That's pretty epic in my opinion. So this one. I think this one has got massive potential. Like I said, no one knows about it now. But, you know, there are. You know, this was brought out by the guys at PathDAO. The guys at PathDAO had already had established relationships with people of Axie Infinity, Illuvium, and the games that were very, very popular back in 2021. Because they were the guild for these games. So they've got connections. Now it's going to be a case of implementation. So their tech can be in those games, and they've got connections to be able to have their, their technology utilized versus the many, many AI projects out there that have no connections. They're pure DJ play. They get by purely on some Twitter personality talking about it and it goes up because it doesn't have any substance. This one, I believe, has substance, particularly for the team that it has come from. So this one, I would say 30 to 50x. Like I said, AI play. 
I don't want to spend too long on each one. So next one is not yet out. This one is going to be coming out soon. And this one is a BRC20 based cryptocurrency. Now these ones are extremely bullish if they do something different. So Satoshi VM did a 300x out the gate and Satoshi VM was a $1 million market cap cryptocurrency when it launched. That meant the upside potential was severe. Satoshi Sync is a way of, is basically a BRC20 NFT builder or inscription. So, in, so BRC20 inscriptions are basically Bitcoin NFTs, to put it, to put it bluntly. And with Satoshi Sync, you're able to create these with no coding experience and you are able to bridge it. So this is for developers of NFTs, all right? So this is NFT infrastructure, BRC20 NFT infrastructure. And then you're going to be able to not only have it on the BRC20 network, but also you have it on the, ER, the um, ERC20 network and also the Solana network. So you can bridge it across to get liquidity. So because of Bitcoin, lots of people hold it as a store of value. They don't necessarily want to use their Bitcoin to buy any inscriptions uh, or get involved in, in that whole thing. And then what you can do is you can port it over to so that on another chain, somebody who purchases it still has that Bitcoin NFT exposure, but it's on a chain that's much easier to be able to get liquidity on. So you've got these customizable BRC20 tokens, and the name is amazing. Satoshi Sync. I love it. I love it. And of course, because it, it would be because of the fact that, you know, it's Bitcoin related. So Satoshi Sync, this is going to be, like I said, Satoshi VM came out with a $1 million market cap. And this one is the highest gainer of everything that I've invested in, a 302x. And Satoshi Sync is going to be coming out at 1.04 million. It's basically the same. Basically exactly the same. A fully diluted market cap of 15 million. So either way, it's a, it's a it's pennies for a BRC20 cryptocurrency moving into a crypto bull run that is for sure going to be embracing BRC20. Because in the last crypto bull run, we had... Ethereum, NFTs, Bored Apes, uh, CryptoPunks, all of that, all of those collections, they they soared because last cycle was the Ethereum cycle. Last cycle, Ethereum tokens and Ethereum NFTs boomed. But in this next cycle, it's not going to be. It's not going to be the same version. Of that. It's not going to be like it was. If you buy a Bored Ape today, it's not. It's not going to have anywhere near the explosive upside potential. You are just preserving money at that point. The new trend is NFTs on Bitcoin. That's why Ordinals has done a 30x. And that's why Satoshi VM, which is a BRC20 cryptocurrency, um, or within that field, that's why at 300x. So to me, I think that Satoshi VM has got the potential from that market cap, from a 1 million market cap, to do a 100x. Next up, we've got DeFi Spot. Now, this is another one that is not yet out. Now, DeFi Spot, I haven't actually got the initial circuit, the initial market cap available to me because I don't think that's been decided yet. But DeFi Spot is an ability. Is this one to me could be the Dex that rules them all? If you think about it, let's say right now you want to do some buying of a cryptocurrency, right? Particularly one that may not even be on a centralized exchange. So you go to Uniswap for Ethereum, Pancake Swap for uh, Binance Smart Chain, Jupiter for uh, Solana, Trader Joe for Avalanche. But what if you've got, let's say, you make a 100x in the Avalanche ecosystem and you've got $100,000 on the Avalanche blockchain, but you want to buy something on Ethereum. What you do is you use DeFi Spot, right? You don't need to have all these silo DEXs anymore. You've just got one single DEX, everything done in one single window. It is, I did this myself because I had to get involved in a lot of, you know, the cryptocurrencies at, at pre-sale, I need to have Ethereum-based USDT, right? But I don't have much Ethereum-based USDT because I've spent a lot, spent it all. So I've got some on another chain. So in order to do that, in order to get that tether to another chain, one way is to send it to Binance 
convert it, send it to my Ethereum wallet. That's one way. Another way is to use something like Chainport as well. I tried that the other week. Two hours after I tried to do the bridge, it still hadn't sent. So what you've got with DeFi Spot is the ability to just do that in basically minutes. So what they say is that they do um, the best prices for swaps in the best time. Okay, so for instance, on here, they said that one of the slippages is, um, is 0.1%. 0.1% when you are transferring one token, when you are buying a token on one chain with a token from another chain. 0.1%. And this include this is including 50 major blockchains, including Bitcoin. So you can send Bitcoin to another chain just like that. Or you can use your Bitcoin to buy another cryptocurrency without having to do all these swaps. So as we get into a increasingly multi-chain world, which is happening, you, it, the barriers are getting broken. And as new users come into cryptocurrency, they need simplicity. And that's why I like DeFi Spot, because I hate DeFi coins, if I'm honest with you. I'm not a big fan of them. I only like simple DeFi because that's all I'm bothered to get my head around. I'm not interested in something that's overly complicated, like liquid staking and all that. I just, I just don't even bother. I'm not interested. It's not my bag, right? But this is simplistic DeFi with a very good use case and excellent investors from what I have seen. Um, I don't know the initial market cap, but I'm imagining that this is going to be around about five, five million initial market cap. In which case, I would say that this one, again, 50 to 100x potential because it's DeFi gaming is so much easier to understand i will say a 50x for DeFi spot next up we have got valhalla now valhalla is a cryptocurrency now it's called start scar quest valhalla is a cryptocurrency that came out in 2021 and has basically it it, it reached a floor so I was one of the initial investors. I made a 600x on this when this came out of Velaspad. And uh, I cashed out a bit, not all of it, because obviously you're only given a small amount up front on launch. So I actually held this. And kind of at the beginning of you know the pre-halving year, I was kind of thinking, I don't really care about it. I'm just going to hold it. But I've seen that they've done a lot of marketing. So these guys have joined Neo Tokyo. They've done an AMA with Neo Tokyo and a load of the Neo Tokyo community are loving this right now, particularly because actually gameplay wise, it looks excellent. Like it's not, you know, it's not the quality of Shrapnel, Bloodloop and all of these, but actually it's very much a kind of Clash of Clans, uh, Age of Empires kind of battle game. And it looks fun, and it's only now beginning to actually be realized as a game. Before now, you know, kind of in between when it came up and now, it was just an idea. We had no idea what it was actually going to look like. And if I'm honest with you, I didn't have the the I didn't have the most optimistic of outlooks for Scarquest. But I think that this one, again, nobody is really talking about it. The the liquidity is is virtually zero. And where it's gotten to before, a 30x is 100x from here. So I would say that given that they're doing so much more marketing, given that they've joined Neo, the Neo Tokyo, and actually, when I asked in Neo Tokyo just the other day, I was saying, I was asking people what they were loving. This came up as a cryptocurrency that people thought had good upside potential. So I would say that given this will probably have a, you know, because at the end of it, lots of games. What are the chances of a game getting adoption? Quite low. If you look at how many games there are out there versus the select few, you know, the kind of off the grid, blood loop, uh, shrapnel, Illuvium, they're definitely going to get users. They're definitely going to get adoption because they're the most talked about. But what you need to look is you need to look at what are people saying in gaming communities and what are the ones that are standing out? And Valhalla is actually standing out right now. So I would say... It would be optimistic to stay a 100x purely because it's not got the same commercial element as a shoot 'em up or a role playing game. 
But given how strong gaming was when the gaming narrative just kicked off in, in November, I think this one has got a chance to go to go up. 30 to 50x. Next up, we've got TokenFi. Now, TokenFi is from the founders of Flocky. Flocky is a meg is a is a major meme coin. We we class it as that because we've got Doge, Shiba, Flocky, Pepe, right? So the guys who created Flocky have created Token Fi. And Token Fi, they're going to be having a load of things happening with them in the not too distant future. So Token Fi is amongst my kind of my kind of bag. Basically, the cryptocurrencies in the RWA category. Okay, so this one has come down quite a lot. And this is an easy way of being able to get into securities in a legal way on a regulated exchange, basically. That's what TokenFi are going to be having. So they're going to be enabling for real-world assets, properties, uh, jewelry, just traditional assets, stocks. They're going to be available on TokenFi. And they are very, very short. In fact, I think they have already launched their token launcher. They've got AI. So it's RWA and AI, as well as gaming, because also Valha Valhalla, which is the game coming out of the Flocky ecosystem, is tied to TokenFi. And from what I understand, they've got an announcement coming up on the 15th of February, so the day after tomorrow. And they're going to be announcing something. So, I don't, from what I have heard, it's something to do with advertising uh, on in a, in, a, in a very major sports, or in a very, very major sports event. So, there's going to be a load of new eyes on this. And from what I remember, I remember when Flocky was being advertised on London Underground. They were heavily advertising Flocky. And Flocky really pumped in the last bull market. And... This time, I think they're going to be concentrating all their efforts, all their marketing on TokenFi. And so, for me, TokenFi is a 30x to maybe 50x, but I would say a 30x at this point. Simply because of its fully diluted market cap. But I think that this, it's a very new cryptocurrency. It's only very recently come out. And it's from guys who know exactly how to market a cryptocurrency. So I'm going to leave it in around about 20 to 30x. Next up, GT Protocol. To me, GT Protocol is a very undervalued cryptocurrency. 12 million market cap. GT Protocol is an AI layer for dApps. Okay, so it's going to chiefly be used for DeFi and CeFi. So it's going to be an AI assistant that does things for you. Whatever you want it to do, whatever you want it to track, whatever dips you want it to buy, it will automatically do it for you. So you don't have to be constantly at your, you know, constantly at, at your computer terminal or on your phone. Uh, you can just carry on watching Netflix or whatever. And it just does it for you. And so that is its first use case. It's going to be used on exchanges and decentralized exchanges and more than likely DeFi platforms as well to try and find you the best yield. But over time, I imagine this is this is a Web3 AI access layer. So this is going to be usable uh, in all various different dApps that we see in the future for cryptocurrency. RWA, for instance, this is definitely likely to be used to be able to buy securities on a simple and, and legal exchange. So, therefore, I think the GT, GT protocol, for the market cap it is, has enormous potential in the future. And what you've kind of got right now is you've got a load of, if, you know, if I take you back to you know, this example here, most of the whales are kind of buying Tau, right? Now, I told you about Tau when it was like $45, and uh, that was when the opportunity, you know, I probably thought it was going to go lower, but that was the opportunity to buy Tau right? You've got other cryptocurrencies like Fetch and Singularity, which are archaic. Like, they've been around a long, long time. Like, those are ones that I want to avoid. And Fetch AI is claiming bankruptcy. 
So it doesn't matter sometimes if you get into a high market cap cryptocurrency where you think that the downside potential is risky, is, is less risky, because there's always risk. Always risk. So if you're going to take the risk, why go for a major play? So therefore, when it comes to kind of AI, you've got the likes of GT Protocol, uh, AIT, uh, the Virtual Protocol as well. And these are the kind of things that I am targeting. And anything that kind of, you know, starts to come out that has what I would say unique AI features. Chain GPT now doesn't fall into this category. Chain GPT is kind of, it's high quality, but it's kind of high price as well. I'd probably say it was around about here. Like the, the opportunity is kind of gone now with Chain GPT. Of course, if you want to get involved in the IDOs and stuff come out on Chain GPT, fair enough. But nah, to me, it's best to get into these, these hyped AI coins that the market cap doesn't reflect the hype it's got and doesn't reflect the promise that it's got. So therefore, to me, even from where it is right now, I think that GT Protocol has a 30 to 50x potential. 30 to 50x. I think that the next bull market is going to be one of the biggest for AI. AI is going to soar in the next bull market. And the market cap of the AI ecosystem is going to be gigantic. AI and big data, that's the one. It's gone now. Yeah, I believe that the market cap for AI is going to be in the hundreds of billions. Presently, it's 29 billion. And a lot of that is taken up by what I probably wouldn't even consider as AI plays. You know, I wouldn't really consider near protocol an AI play nor injective. Right, so therefore, if you take those out of the equation, you're probably left with something more like 15 billion. And I think this is going to be in the hundreds, maybe even above 500 billion in market cap, which would, uh, yeah, billion in market cap, which would make it a, a, you know, a quarter of what the overall market cap is right now. But AI is evolving dramatically. And by 2026, I imagine it will just gone, gone on leaps and bounds anyway. So therefore, something like GT Protocol, that's why I believe it's got 50x potential even from here. Bear with me one second. Inia Glasson, thank you very, very much for 159 Australian dollars. You and Joe Bars, you are legends. Team Supo favourites. I really appreciate that. If you weren't here when I said it earlier, basically I can't do my thank you screens now because I get copyrighted for them. So I won't, <laughs> so I can't, but hold on. <laughs> can't get copyrighted for this. Ah, hey, if you want to make Five, ten, a hundred, a thousand x gains. Then you better do what Inia Glasson and Joe Joe Bars do, because they quite clearly have taste when it comes to cryptocurrencies and crypto YouTubers. And if you hold Cardano, I may forgive you. Only today. <laughs> Man, he has a laugh. <laughs> Right, anyway, so carrying on. So the next one that we have got is Stratos, which is actually quite funny considering the internet computers just come up. Now Stratos, I have no idea why this is the market cap that it is. When you consider that something like Internet Computer Protocol, which is pretty much the exact same thing, right? Okay, so it's full stack development for any large DAP, right? So what that means is you've got the entire... You got the entire system infrastructure there for a large scale DAP. If you if you want a database for your users, you've got it. If you want computing power to make sure that your app runs successfully, you've got it. If you need cloud computing solutions um, or decentralized cloud, you've got it with Stratos. So why? So I understand why there's a lot of hype regarding internet computer. It's like the big brand when it comes to decentralized cloud, decentralized computing. But to me, Stratos is just that that secret gem, absolute gem that does the same thing. 
Only it's 160x less in price. 160x less. All right, so, okay, it's got a fully diluted market cap of um, 95 million. But Internet Computer has an uncapped supply and it's fully diluted. It's nearly 7 billion. So to me, Stratos has insane upside potential. And I think that this one is going to do really, really well because of Deepin. So previously, I would say that decentralized cloud, decentralized computing, to me, it was not really much of a narrative. It wasn't sexy. It didn't do much for you. You're like, unless you use it on a day-to-day -day basis, do you use, do you use, um, do you need a decentralized cloud? Really? Do you? No, probably not. But you know games, right? You know, you've played Call of Duty, GTA, Minecraft, retro games, <laughs> if you're of my age, then, you know, you will, you will easily understand crypto gaming. All right. That's sexy. It's easy to understand, easy to explain to somebody else. But decentralized, deep in is, but decentralized cloud is not. But because deep in has gone, come in, which is decentralized physical uh, infrastructure networks, this has now given sexiness to anything that is to do with uh, GP distributed GP uh, decentralized GPU decentralized cloud decentralized computing and Stratos is a beauty in this area at this market cap. There's another cryptocurrency I really like called Aether, and that is also distributed cloud computing with uh, G distributed um, GPU as well for gaming, and that makes it a powerhouse. But I have I very much doubt that you'll be able to get that at this at that at the market cap that stratos is and stratos has been around a while as well you know they have got the person who created mind geek which powers p-o-r-n hub is the creator of stratos and all we really need to see with stratos they've already got the they've already got the underlying technology now it's going to be a case of Increasing in decentralization. They're getting nodes, more node operators all the time. And it's more of a decentralized node network than what you've got with Internet Computer. Internet Computer has... Jerry Banfield would very much disagree with me, but it's got suspicious decentralization, right? Whereas Stratos is definitely way more decentralized, easier, and earlier stage. So where you've got Internet Computer and they've already got a launch pad, they've already got dApps being created social dapps and AI dapps and games and memes and everything, they're kind of mostly completed. My whole thesis as an investor is to invest early stage only. You invest when the slate is blank. There's no ecosystem. They've got maybe partnerships brewing, but nothing really, nothing really substantial as of yet. And that's why... To me, I think Stratus is a powerhouse in the future that will come to be relevant purely because of Deepin. So I think that Stratos is a 20 to 30x at least. What I believe Stratos need to do is get better at marketing. At this present point, I'm the only one really talking about it. Uh, you get some crypto YouTubers, uh, crypto Twitterers as well, but they're pretty crap. So they need to increase their marketing and as far as i'm concerned should do outrage marketing they probably wouldn't want to do that but they should they should do richard hart type, type marketing richard hart does outrage marketing you know, slanders other chains says the upside potential shit on all of them says that they're not they're not fast blah 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 blah. and then he says why his coin is better if it was me i would be doing not hit pieces on internet computer or are we or things like that but i would be doing comparators I would be doing infographics. I would be marketing to say you've got basically the same asset, but very, very earlier stage with more development and therefore more upside. So that's what I believe for Stratos. I think they're excellent. Uh, this one, Heroes of Mavia. This one came out last week. This one actually was a Neo Tokyo IDO. So if you were part of Citizen Cap, which you need a... Um, you need a... Season 1 Tokyo, Neo Tokyo NFT and 150 bytes staked. And then you can get involved in various different uh, early stage investments. And they were really excited about Heroes of Mar uh, Mavia. And really excited about how it went. 
You know, this this has exploded. There's a, a, a cryptocurrency that wasn't even around a week ago. And now all of a sudden there's a 250 million market cap and is a 2 billion fully diluted value. So my personal prediction of Heroes of Mavia, even though it's a, it's a quality game, it's obviously got big YouTubers in it. Um, Alex Becker, I believe, spoke about this the other day. And it's quality, again, this one comes into the whole, this, this, I would say kind of, actually, if we have a look and see, so look, 250 million market cap and 2 billion, right? If we have a look at Illuvium, which is more established, is only a little bit more expensive from the circulating supply, and it is three times more expensive than Illuvium fully diluted market cap. So to me, this is 10x max. And then the last one is this one, CV pad. So this is a launch pad. So CV pad, from what I can, from what I have been able to gather, is going to launch at 825,000 market cap. So this is going to be super, super cheap. So what I would say is, well, however you can, try and get involved in this one. Because this one is being incubated, is, is basically a, a, a three-way partnership, basically, of CVVC, which is basically Crypto Valley Venture Capitals. They are investors in tier one projects. Then DuckDAO which was very, very explosive launchpad in the last bull market, they have come together to create um, CV Labs. And what you're going to be able to invest in here is, again, tier one multi-chain cryptocurrency. So unlike other launchpads, which have their own kind of, I would say, niche, so it could, so BSC pad is, uh, you know, Binance Smart Chain or meant to be, um, you know, Polka Starter is meant to be most chains, well, CVPad is going to also have base blockchain as one of the narratives they're going to be investing in early stage cryptocurrencies. So this is going to be a really, really easy way of being able to get in from the ground up in a launch pad. And I just don't think anybody is going to hear about this. So uh, unless you're watching this video, in which case I would make sure you keep an eye on this one because I think this one has got 100x potential. Uh, 825,000 market cap. This has got 100x over it, um, potentially higher. At the end of the day, what separates a good launch pad from a shit launch pad is the quality of the projects, okay? So what I would be looking for is launch pad. What I would be looking for in its early stage, the cryptocurrencies they're going to be bringing out is that they're going to be cryptocurrencies you would want to get in on. Aether, Aether Games, uh, off the Grid, Bloodloop, um, Treeverse. All of these cryptocurrencies are super hype. People can't wait for them to come out. Um, they need to be bringing out those. And I believe that the connections that they have, you know, from DuckDAO and um, the fact that they will just know exactly how to pitch because of that previous experience, I believe that CVPad has got the potential to have those really quality games and low cap gems on new chains as well so there we are that was it so no thousand x's today but um my personal opinion is is that moving forward is that i really want to be concentrating on finding and this is why i don't do videos that often so you'll notice that i don't I don't, the last video I made was nine days ago. I don't, I'm not like your average crypto YouTuber. We're talking about Bitcoin, talking about Ethereum, talking about the macro or all that shit. I don't care. I don't, really don't care about any of that. All I care about is making sure I get in early into very, very good opportunities. So getting in early or getting in very, very cheap. Okay, I am sticking 100% to this thesis. This is, this is my, my total blueprint. This is all to do. This is all I will do. No exceptions for all of it. I will never buy a cryptocurrency already pumping. I will never buy a cryptocurrency that's already, you know, like like Heroes of Mavia, that's already in the hundreds of, of millions. I won't do any of that. 
I'm only interested in getting into cryptocurrencies that have got 100x potential, and that is it. 100x potential, or forget it. And so what I'm looking to do is, really, it's a very, very difficult job to find the gamer arenas. You know, gamer arena was uh, an absolute beauty. An absolute, unbelievable find, right? How I found it was, right, it's mobile games developer on Avalanche, and they had no volume. They were on one shitty exchange. They weren't updating their Twitter. It was a very, very degen opportunity. But it's with those degen opportunities that you can really make the money if they actually come alive again. And I really, it, all you have to do is just download Game Arena. Honestly, it's like it's it's like these guys are going to these guys are my bank, my bet, my banker on. Nakamoto games. I didn't get into Nakamoto games. I didn't get into Wagami games. So Game Arena is is my bag now through to the end of the bull market. And this one, this one could do. I think I think that one dollar seemed almost impossible a week ago when I did a tweet and said you know, when these guys are at one uh, one cent. Um, I didn't think one dollar was going to be coming for two years, but at the rate it's going, I wouldn't be surprised. And it's still a very, very low market cap. Yeah, fully diluted, 67 million. So it's done a 150x. It's still little. So this is what I plan to do. Really, it's to find cryptocurrencies that are really here, right in this sweet spot, right there, where it's high quality or even, even kind of more like this. It's kind of like maybe it's not very high quality, but it's got commercial appeal and it could turn into high quality but ultimately low price because that's where the upside potential is i mean look beam the, these are hyped coins beam super immutable x illuvium are not gonna make what gamer arena made it could have every youtuber in the world talking about these coins and they won't get anywhere near to 155x no way Right, so this is this is the area. It's degenerative, it's risky, but oh, it can really pay off if you get it right. Right, there we are, people. Right, I'm going to take some of your questions now, and uh, I don't want to be on for too long either. So, let me just need a drink. So have a look at your let's have a look at your chats. Oh Jesus. It's just a toy. <laughs> it's not a real gun. Anyway, let's have a look and see what you guys have got to say. And in the meantime, I'll just go back on coin market cap in case there's any cryptos I need to look at. Um, 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 um. Right, there's some super chats, so bear with me a second. By the way, Inia, thank you very much for the number one in this space, without a shadow of a doubt. I appreciate that. I love it. Thanks. Um, Azu, thank you for your wisdom. What are your thoughts on Zebek? Uh, um, I will very, very easily be able to give you advice. Coinbase Ventures portfolio. All right, let's have a look at this then. Seems to be doing well on the tokenomics. Stream streaming finance and streaming finance and real time payroll. Yeah, I mean, what's this? A decentralized payroll network that I suppose if we moved into the because. What it boils down to is Web3, the evolution of Web3, right? And the Web3 is a truly decentralized internet, which requires for infrastructure and services. So if we ever enter a Web3 environment where in the future people get paid in cryptocurrency, then, you know, then you've got something like this, which is a service. And of course, being on Solana means it's going to be very, very fast. Now, of course, me, it being a DeFi means I don't really give a shit for it either but you can see here there's pretty much a four to one ratio so it's very very relevant if it is in um coinbase's portfolio then it could very likely it's it's, it's post last bull market so it's non-bull exposed 
So it could do. Could be okay. Do I like it? No. Um, let me have a quick look at the backers. Circle. That's pretty big. Coinbase. Coinbase Circle, OKX, Solana Ventures. How long ago did they actually invest in this thing? March 2022. So like it is, some of these may not. Let me see, where's this trading? Oh, it's not on Coinbase at this point. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, there's, there's definitely a market for Solana DeFi. But... Yeah, I'm not the right person to ask, but that's that's what I would say. I would say it's okay. I wouldn't say it's great. Thoughts on this game coming out soon? Revenge. Hey, Supo, any new project? Thoughts? Polyland Studios. God, I got way more of these Super Chats than I thought I did. Um. Neil! Neil! Orange Peel! Let me have a look. That's like Stratos, isn't it? Polyland Beyond the Metaverse. Is that it? Can't really see anything other than that. Web3 Studio. Doesn't really say... Oh, that's the same. That's the same as the other... Oh, it was Revenge. Oh, I didn't know it was... You asked both questions, Neil. Right, okay. Um... So, Revenge is going to be coming out of Polyland Studios. But, is Polyland going to be like Corpo? So, Corpo will have Citizen citizen Conflict, Animate, and um, Egos. So, is Polyland going to be the, the token? Because if so, yeah, it could be okay. I don't think the branding is particularly great. Look at this. Easy... Research. Uh, I can't really make much of a deduction at this point. Um, GameStop on Solana. A GME. This. One to one market cap. A week old. Game start. Wall Street can't stop us now. GME stop. Meme coin. Place homage. Just stupid. Like like, Game Stop is just so old now. Like I know they brought out a, a film on it, or a documentary on Netflix or whatever. But so twenty twenty or twenty twenty one. Like, who gives a shit about that? I don't. But I'm guessing that it's because of Solana meme coin has got a lot of volume, but. It's not the best of brands, in my opinion, anyway. But thank you very much, Naif, for the $20. But I don't like it. Um, what should I buy right now? Uh, um, Ava Launch, Mix Mob, or GT uh, Protocol? I can't give you any advice on that. All I will say is, is you go with your your analysis of what has the better upside and also what is your personal favorite when it comes to the trend. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm very, very, I'm, I'm, I, would, I would say I'm kind of interested nearly in this order. I'd say gaming, AI, launch pads, RWA. So a gaming project I'll always go for first. So I'd probably go, you know, I'd probably go mix mob. Um, and then, um, GT protocol, and then probably Ava launch, but um, yeah, this is down to your personal preference at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> Operation Phoenix, Safe Moon reboot on Binance Smart Chain. Who cares about Binance Smart Chain anymore? Honestly. 
42,000 volume. Pile of crap. This definitely looks like something that, um, uh, yeah, it's basically say it's safe moon, right? But, uh, but in the, uh, in the shape of a phoenix, basically. Um, no. Nah. No. Nah. Uh, I don't see the appeal, personally. By the way, people, if you could, I would be most grateful if you could just smash a like on this video. There's 800 watching, 300 likes, so it would help me if you, you literally right now, you who's watching me, you know who you are, because you are you, then if you could just swivel, phone, tap like, oops, tap like, I would be very happy. <laughs> Um, RNG Crypto, I didn't see your first super chat. That's odd. Second super chat, would appreciate your thoughts on Blue Cellar launch pads. Will they come back? Um, I believe so, yes. I believe that there is no conscience when it comes to a bull market. When, the, when it's up only, which I've got to say, I still don't feel comfortable with saying it's going to be. So we're pre-halving. Um, this is the most volatile time. Typically, All right? So where we are, uh, hold on. right? So where we are is basically right here, right? Where back in, um, no, yeah, we are coming out of a bet of a, a potential bear market coming out of potential on the run up to the halving right and so what you've got is you've got this this period of time in between i would say beginning of the year and around about october within that halving year so just like in 2020 between february and october was where we had the most volatility so we saw bitcoin going from like 11000 down to three and a half and then rallying towards the halving, coming down again to 5,000 um, at the end of the year before suddenly the up only, breaking the all-time high, right? So the all-time high to me, people are saying it's going to be happening soon, right? And um, I don't know how much I believe of that. But um, until we get a confirmed up only bull market... No, when we do get a confirmed up only bull market, I would say that Bluezilla launch pads will will cream it again. But what I will say is, in the last bull market, something that Bluezilla certainly had was agility. They were very very quick with launches, very very quick at, at, at spotting and capitalizing on trends. I would say that launch pad quality has gone up because project quality has gone up. So you've got you know off the grid Gunzilla, Aether Games, um, Aether. Uh, DeFi spot, all this, all these really, really good um, cryptocurrencies that are going to be launching. And Bluezilla don't tend to launch those types of projects. They tend to launch kind of degen plays, you know, like a Valhalla, uh, like a, um, you know, Meta VPad. They, 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 launch, they launch projects no one else has heard of. But they launch it at such small market caps that everybody wants a piece of it. So I know that they have survived up until now. Despite all the people saying, oh, they're a scam and all this shit. They survived. And so, really, having survived, why wouldn't they not thrive? Do I think they're necessarily the best of launch pads? No, I wouldn't say so. But I would say they have potential to come back. Saito. I've already checked Saito. Saito is the biggest part of shit. Um, take a look at Medieval... No, I'm not going to look at Medieval Empire. I only do it because of the contribution, but I know Medieval Empires is Carl the Moon's project, and it'll probably do exactly the same as Caster, which is, like, nothing, basically. Just be a monumental flop. So, no, I don't give a shit for this. It's not touching it. It's on Polygon anyway, so who cares? <clears throat> what do you think of Hive Mapper? Yeah, this is an area of deep in that I'm not quite... I mean, I obviously got involved in... Helium last year at one dollar forty eight, I want to say, but these other, 
you know, these... These kind of, um... These new deep in services which I've never used myself by a dash cam. Like, I don't really, I don't, I, I don't know, I'm not really, I don't really know much about this project. But I have heard a lot of people talking about it. So on Coinbase, so clearly it's got the acknowledgement that it's of decent quality. Um, global Mapping Network. Rewards contributors for collecting high high volume 4K street level imagery with dash cams. So basically, it's Google Earth, right? Google Earth. Some things I can't really wrap around my head. Why do we need a token for that? But maybe it just needs more. Um, maybe it just needs further clarification. I'll look. I'll look into it. Um, and delicious thoughts on the ERC 404 going on. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really care for it that much, to be honest. But I wouldn't turn down the ability to get into a ERC four hundred four ERC four hundred four cryptocurrency at early stage. But the ones that have come out already, I've looked at and they look pretty crap. And I have had the opportunity to get into some from uh, from from the ground up, but I I just don't understand the complication of it. I get what it is, you know, the whole tokenizing NFTs that go with the that go with the NFT, so token for the NFT. So it's a non fungible cryptocurrency basically rather than a non fungible asset. But why? That's the that's the thing. Why? I understand Bitcoin NFTs, but I don't understand why you need to have a coin regarding uh an NFT, but maybe that's just because it's just not my. It, I I need to see some better, real world application of it before I think it's got value. I don't want to just get involved in something because it's a trend. I want to get involved in something because I think there's actual value. What are your thoughts on price predictions for Glimmer? Um, they stay the same. Ten dollars, five to ten dollars, fifteen at best, maybe. Um. The thing is, is is that, and this is the frustrating thing, is is that, you know, it's it's a Polkadot cryptocurrency. Now, Injective is a Cosmos cryptocurrency. That's done very well. No, Injective is, um, yeah, it's Cosmos, sorry. Uh, Injective is a Cosmos cryptocurrency, and that has done well. Moonbeam, by rights, is almost like Injective, if you think about it. Uh, Multi-chain, uh, protocol, layer one etc etc but you've got the likes of you've got the likes of um zeta chain which has just got so much hype right so you've got a volume of 10 million for moonbeam and then you've got volume of 195 million for zeta chain but the difference being is is that this is a 5 billion fully dilated market cap and moonbeam's 400 million so I think that Moonbeam's got really good high upside potential, but it's it's more about relevance. It's more about um, are you going to be top of mind when the balls come? And I think it actually will do really well if Polkadot does really well. Oh, God, I really did miss some super chats, didn't I? Big super, you only have $3,000. Name six cryptos to get into. I know there's thousands, but name six if you had only 3 k to invest. That's a very tough question, to be honest. Um, but I would probably refer back to the the tweet I put out the other day. It would probably be amongst the cryptocurrencies I put down here. Because, you know, they're kind of... They're pretty epic, to be honest. You know, playable, Doge Chain... Shrapnel, GT Protocol, Gamey, Gamer Arena. Um, what I'm really looking forward to is Aether. You know, the um, distributed cloud computing. Very much looking forward to this one. And uh, I think this is a beauty. I think it's a real beauty. It does, basically, it's everything I want. It's deep in gaming and AI. And GPU, basically. So it's like, it's, it's, it's internet computer. It's render, it's GT protocol, 
or or like Bitenso. And uh, it's um, so I beam with gaming. So it's everything I want, basically, in a cryptocurrency. So I say this one I'm very, very interested in. Uh, and that this will definitely be in my top. And also another one called Kai Network, which I will have undoubtedly spoken about before. Which is a proof of work, merged mining, super infrastructure, 50,000 transactions per second. This is going to be a truly scalable proof of work, efficient system. Uh, that I am very, very much looking forward to. Almost as much as I was looking forward to Moonbeam back in, like, 2020. Um, Octa Space in the deep in narrative. Okay, this will probably be the last one I look at. Octa Space. You see, this is how you know that the, the market's getting so big. Is because you, you as as a crypto as a as a crypto investor and researcher <laughs> that that does it twenty four seven for seven years and I still I still miss some. Octospace is a really shit name. I'll I'll say that from the start. But um, it looks like a good market cap. What chain is it? Oh, it's its own chain. All oh, right. Okay. That's interesting. Distributed computing, VPN, and data storage. How old is this? About a year. Fifty fifty six percent of supply out as well. I don't like the name. The name's terrible. Octa space. What the fuck does that mean? Like, if you're gonna name a cryptocurrency, name it something catchy or at least something that makes sense. What the fuck does Octa space mean? It just has zero memorability. But it looks like a decent project. It looks like a decent project. But I wouldn't touch. But but the name lets it down. And yes, the name matters. Mm. I don't think I've missed any other super chats. No, I have not. Okay. Um I'll take I'll take a few more questions then. Let's see what you guys are saying. So uh You missed mine. Marty Hale. Oh, thoughts on plays app and oh shit, I did miss some. They just appear from nowhere. You help me a lot. GameStop will bring the normies flooding into crypto. It's a future blue chip. It's not. But I appreciate the five dollars. It's not a future blue chip. Come off it. Um, thoughts on plays app and hello. Um, yeah, they're fine. They're I, I like plays app. Uh, I I have to say that. This was one of the ones I was really interested in when I first looked at Gamey, but it doesn't look like it's come down anywhere near. Last the first time I saw plays that was at three cents, so it's still it's still nine x that, <laughs> still nine x that. So I'm not interested. But I think this is one that had pool and shit, isn't it? Let me have a look if it loads. Yeah, it's got like uh, Candy Crush. Solitaire or whatever that's meant to be. And then Um Yeah. It it looks good. I like it. I I like, but I am also not a fan of its pump, right? So I've I've missed I've missed out on 9X. It's too much to me. Not that interested, to be honest. Unless it comes down a lot more. Otherwise, I like it. Hello? Um, just, in my opinion, just this was a buy and hold from a long time ago. Now, I wouldn't touch it. Because it's gone up. It's 10x. It's 10x already on top of its. And it's only really come down 2x. That's, I mean, it's only, it's only halved. 
you know, something like gamey at least came down like what eighty percent. Wait, hold on. <laughs> One year. Yeah, well, look, it was 6.5, and then it came down to 1.2. That, well, actually, it came down to 0 .0 0.08, actually, or 0 0.006. So um, this is worth taking advantage of, but bags are packed for, for others. I mean, I obviously got into Hello at, like, 3 cents or something. Um, I wouldn't add. Pixels, that's going to be coming out soon on... Um, on Binance Launchpad. And that is probably going to be very, very hyped as well. Supo, where do you find sexy new coins like Hemu and GT Protocol early? I'm very disappointed in the crypto market. High BTC price during high interest rates. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I, I don't quite trust it. But um, what I will say is, is that I tend to find... I tend to find things just in the course of my research. That's, that's really what it boils down to. I look through... Just to give you an indication, something something that is like an exercise I would do is I would be updating all my lists, right? So let's say um, Fenbushi Capital, Pantera, Jump, Animoca, FBG, X21, Coinbase, Binance. And I will be adding more and more coins that they've invested in that are already out and available to, to buy. And then... I will look at the market cap and analyze the coin. So a lot, it, it just comes from osmosis. It's just purely being active, having a lot of um, people that I speak with as well. Uh, it just you just you just get lots of coins thrown at you, so you're able to deduce what's good, what's not good. That's how it works. I mean, I heard about GT Protocol through my own group. So what I would say is is join join the Telegram group. Uh, and another one I had, I think I had Satoshi Sync from my group as well. So actually, it's just it's just the people you're around that are the that are. It's a, it's simple. Keep it simple. That's what it is. Um, just the people around you. Just immerse yourself. That is how you learn of coins. Simple as that. Um, okay, I'm gonna make a move now. I believe because. I have already, I've now been online for nearly an hour and a half, and I know what YouTube is like. They essentially hate long live streams. Don't tell, don't ask me why, they just don't. So uh, as much as I'd love to be here for three hours, that's probably something I will leave for Twitch. So there we are, people. I hope that you really enjoyed. Oh, by the way, I should have done this As usual, earlier. nothing I say is to be construed as financial advice. Crypto is largely unregulated and high risk and people who invest should be prepared to lose all their money and everything I see to you in this video is for informational and educational purposes only. As I should have done that earlier, <laughs> better than that, I got it in, but um, always forget, always forget. So anyway, yeah, so I better make a move, but people, thank you very much for joining. If you could quite literally be a darling and just tap a like, like on the way out, I'd be very, very thankful. And I will see you of the next time. Also, leave me comments uh, to let me know what you like it right now. So that, again, it's, it's easier for me to see what's out there if you let me know why you like stuff. Simple as that. All right, people. Love you lots. And I will see you. I'll see you next time. Next time you want to learn how to make five, ten, thousand, million X, just come and watch me. It's lights out. All out.